most people will say, oh, we don't really eat ultra processed food in our house. Oh, don't worry, I have that in clinic. People come into me and, and I'm like, show me your food diary. It's normally like 60% of their diet. Because there's so many things that are marketed as healthy. You've got constant emulsifiers, loads of preservatives, rapeseed oils. This is what our bodies are metabolizing. The things that are marketed as healthy are quite often the biggest culprits. More women are more likely to suffer with an autoimmune disease. Women who eat most ultra processed food have a 50% higher risk of depression. We assume that women just were born to suffer of these conditions. We don't ask why have women got all these autoimmune conditions more than men? Why are twice as many women depressed as men? We may not be looking at that missing piece of the puzzle, which is what are you eating? Writer and women's health advocate Millie Hill joins us to expose the truth about ultra processed food, the female body, and the gut hormone connection no one's talking about. Know that there is a part of the gut microbiome that regulates estrogen and that needs us to be eating fiber. So if we're eating a lot of ultra processed food, we're not going to be getting that fiber. The estrobolome is controlling all kinds of things from our gut health to our estrogen levels and also our mental health. And so that is a subset of gut bacteria that metabolize estrogen, which is really important. Are women more vulnerable biologically to men? How does ultra-processed foods play a role in some of these conditions that women suffer with? Maybe we are blaming ourselves hormonally when actually we haven't been looking at what we've been eating.